Susie, be quiet. Oh my God, how did you know my name? Because you are the loudest person in the room and I have a mic on my face. Excellent. Get out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something, Susie. Oh no. I'm just timing to see how long it takes before you either get ejected or you voluntarily leave. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, mate. <laughs> Uh, anyway, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> sorry. Are you? Yes. <laughs> are you make, sorry? Please don't make me leave. Okay. Uh, there are certain ground rules. Um, they're real basic ones. Uh, it just just don't don't like interrupt an act before they've even emerged onto the stage. Uh, and look, call me a diva if you like. It's just a little peccadillo of mine. It's something that I like. <laughs> I like to be able to come out onto a stage clean uh, with a, an audience who are, you know, reasonably attentive. Um, look, most of you hushed up your conversations real quick, and that's real nice. It was thank you for that. I'm sorry that I've interrupted it. It is, anno it is annoying, like when you're sort of halfway through a thing, and then the lights go down, and you go, "Oh, we have to do this later." Like, it's really. I'd love to. I'd love to set a mic up in a in a like in, a, in an auditorium and, and like record. You know that moment when the lights go down and everyone has to hurriedly wrap up. <laughs> what they're saying and being like, oh, anyway, it's stage four cancer. We've got to watch this. Okay. <laughs> like, being like, I know you're still talking to your ex. I know you're still talking to your ex. And like, she got in touch because there's a new series of Bojack Horseman coming out and it's important news. Like, oh, I fucking hate you. Anyway, let's watch this com some comedy. So, uh, uh, same example, done twice, not as funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop out now. Um, we're already, when we were absolutely smashing this, it's two minutes in already. Uh, <laughs> usually what I'd do is I'd come out and be like, hey, I'm here, uh, with a sort of sense of fanfare. But uh, you know what, Susie's shat all over that, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, get in! <laughs> Sorry, it's your show. No, is it? Is it? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with as much enthusiasm as you're willing to give uh, after after whatever this is, uh, please. Do you know what? I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to bother going. I'll just. I'll just. I'll just come out. I'll just come out. I'll just come out. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. What a thrill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. All. What a thrill. What a thrill to be here. Uh, thanks for being here and everything. I hope you're all. You're all okay. You're all right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, lovely stuff. Nice. Yeah. It uh, takes a bit of adjusting, I know. I know. This. <laughs> like having to go from this, like being in yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you're like, you're, like you spend all day being like, me, and then you have to be like, all right, what does this prick want? <laughs> and it's hard, it's hard to make that gear shift, I know, it's really hard. Uh, but it's nice being here, it's nice being in this room with this number of people, because it's nice, like for an hour, we get to pretend that these are only the number of people that exist on this earth. Do you know what I mean? Like it's quite nice, like when you go back out into the world, you'll see just how many people there are, just how many things are going on, it reminds you of how insignificant you are, how not special you are, and that makes you sad. <laughs> Welcome to the comedy guys, thank you so much for coming out. Oh, what a thrill to be here. Sorry that's a bit brutal up top, but why not? Why not, mate? Why not a little bit of brute brute up top? Why not? Why not, mate? Huh? Why not? Why not be brutal up top? I quite like that. You know when you meet someone and within seconds they just cut through the bullshit and make reference to how awful everything is and you're like, they get it. <laughs> BFF for the apocalypse. Lovely stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I am just talking while you, while you adjust. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get into it in a minute. Um, in fact, on, on, that note, um, on that note, don't worry if you have to go. <laughs> Like, 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 physically, I hope you remain in the space, but, you know, this little fella might have other ideas. You might want to think your own thoughts, you might want to go off and explore your own shit, and you, if you have to go, go. Like, I can't possibly hold your attention for one hour, no one personal thing can these days, so if you've got to go, go. <laughs> Some of you have already gone. Some of you took one look at me and went, nah, not for me. I think I'd rather revisit a happy memory from 2009, thank you very much. <laughs> and off you went. What I might do though, just, 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 to, just to catch those people out, every once in a while I might just throw in something like... <sighs> <laughs> so for anyone who's gone and then happens to tune back in at that moment, it's like... What is happening now? <laughs> oh, this is not for me at all, Clive. I'll be in Christmas 04 if you need me. <laughs> yeah, 
it's all good. Don't worry. Um, don't worry. Yeah, lovely stuff. Yeah, it's nice to nice to have you all here. Nice glasses. Lovely. <laughs> glasses. Yeah. And another one. Third. Three for three. Lovely stuff. I'm super paranoid now whenever I see someone wearing glasses because I was doing a gig a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, most of my stories are about gigs, by the way. And I was doing this gig, and then about half, and this guy was watching me, he was wearing glasses, and about halfway through, I noticed, right, I noticed, he popped them on his head. <laughs> he popped them on his head. You know what that means? About halfway through the gig, he decided to downgrade me from HD. <laughs> It was like, I'd rather see this out in a blur, thank you very much. I want fewer details of this man. Mm. But yeah, don't worry. Don't worry if you have to go. Uh, but you're buzzing to go back on your phones as well, am I right? <laughs> but you're absolutely chomping at the bit for it, aren't you? <laughs> but you're jonesing for a scroll, aren't you? Jonesing for a scroll, but you cannot wait. But it's the first thing you thought about when you sat down here. You were like, oh, in one hour's time. Mm. <laughs> I think that's why we go to these kind of events these days. It's not because we necessarily enjoy ourselves. It's because we know we have to be away from our phones, knowing full well that when we come out, <gasps> think of all the goodies that are waiting for us. <laughs> oh, there's a disco in my pocket and Daddy wants to dance. <laughs> always comes at a price. It doesn't always come at a cost. Because no matter how many notifications you get, you get all the nice messages and stuff, releases endorphins, makes you feel really good, makes you feel popular. You also have to see real-time updates on how the world is continuing to disintegrate. But for some reason, when we look at that stuff, we go, nah, that won't affect me. I'm the main character. <laughs> They're not going to kill off the main one. I think I'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, do you mind if I record this? Is that all right? Yeah, I like to record my gigs, just listen back to them, learn from my mistakes, get better, etc. Uh, also, Daddy just likes to hear the laughs. <laughs> I am Daddy. <laughs> uh, I'm, not. I'm not sending the recordings to my dad. No. I ain't spoken to him in a while. <laughs> uh. Actually, um, another gig story. I was doing a, I was doing a gig um, a few months ago, and it went so badly that at the end of it, while still on stage, I stopped recording and then just deleted the file. <laughs> I just went, and delete, gone. Never thought about it again. Like, I'm not threatening you, <laughs> but I am saying I got previous. I will make this never have happened, I swear to God. All right. You're in. Lovely stuff. Mm. Do I look single to you? <laughs> I never thought I'd have to ask someone to laugh a little less. <laughs> Could you laugh in a way that doesn't hurt my feelings? Thanks. I don't know. I don't know how I'm coming across to you. I've no idea. Like each one of you right now is independently forming a different image, a different impression of me. I'll never know what it is. I'll never see me through your eyes. I'll never really know. You know, we never really see each other, do we? Do you know what I mean? Like, are you guys together? How long have you been together? Seven months. Seven months. Okay, cool. So coming to the first, like, do we continue with this sort of conversation? <laughs> uh, is it? Um, it's going alright. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, you don't know each other. <laughs> do you? you don't know each other. Like, no matter how long you've been together, you'll never really know each other. You know what I mean? Like, you'll never really see him through... Like, you, you know, like, like, you've got an image of him in your head, and you've got an image of her in your head, but you'll never really see each other through one another's eyes. You'll never really be that close. You know what I mean? No matter how physically or emotionally close you get, you'll always at some distance be apart. You'll never really know. You'll never know. You'll never know! Why aren't you all screaming? This is horrible! You'll never know! I'll never know how I'm coming across to you. Well, unless... Damn it. <laughs> too fast and too slow. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> uh, no, so very much single and... Um... Yeah, very much single or... Uh... Oh, has this got? Yeah, it's gone. Has that gone, is it? Yeah. Everything all right? Hello, hello. Uh, do you want to switch to the wire for a bit? Do you want switch to the wire. Um, okay. 
No worries. <laughs> all right, cheers, mate. Sorry, it's all caught up in my hand. There you go. All right. Let's keep that energy going. <laughs> So very much single uh, or single. Yeah, no, we're carrying on with the show. What do you think was going to happen? Why are you laughing? Then why are you surprised? It has to happen. Yeah, very much single or singual, as I like to say. <laughs> say in a weird way, it sounds less depressing. It always, it always uh, makes me feel, you always feel very vulnerable, don't you, when you come out of a relationship? You feel particularly undesired. Like, it always takes me back to that time when I felt most vulnerable in my life, when I was about 16, 17, right? And I was in a group of friends, and I really, like, hated the way I looked. I thought I was deeply ugly, deeply unattractive, and I had such low self-esteem. And maybe one of you was also this member of the group, where all of your friends would go off and get into relationships, and you were the one person that wasn't doing that, and you had to come up with the reason why it wasn't happening for you. And you'd be like, I'm just the zany one. <laughs> I'm the crazy one. <laughs> I'm the drug taker. I take a lot of drugs. Ain't no room for Fanny down this K-hole, mate. This is a strictly sans fan domain. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm using fan as an abbreviation of Fanny, mate. My show, my rules. Absolutely, I will. Yeah, it is nice to have a lot of fans in tonight as well. Yeah, I recently dumped, actually. Um, and and uh, I, I feel less like I've been dumped, though, more like I've been forced to get back together with myself. Uh, for that reason, I haven't told my mum yet, because she never really approved of me, you know. Um, well, I did tell her, I did tell her eventually, and she was like, you know what, you just need to get away. Because she lives in Dorset in the countryside, it's really nice. She was like, you just need to get away. And I was like, you don't get it. There is no getting away. There's no getting away from this. We are all blood-curdling screams trapped in an alcatraz of skin from which there is no escape. And my mum's like, okay, darling, we'll just call me when you're near the station, you know. And so I go. And what she'll do is, I can't use this. She's, walking, she's on the phone all day. She's walking around the house on the phone, babbling down the phone to friends, family, doesn't matter. Just constantly on the phone, right? And what she'll do is, for someone who's trying to get me out of my head, she has a weird way of going about it. Because what she'll do is, whenever she walks into a room that I'm in, whatever I'm doing, she'll describe it down the phone. <laughs> so she'll be like, oh, Jordan, yeah, he's here. He's just reading a book. And I don't know if you've ever tried to make someone feel the most self-aware they've ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> just simply describe their actions, like if she walks into the room, into the kitchen or something, and I'm like buttering a crumpet, and she's like, oh, Jordan, yeah, he's here, he's just buttering a crumpet. And I'm like, oh my god, I guess I am! <laughs> it's like you're a background extra in a film, you know, the camera's going past you, and you're like, do it like a normal person! <laughs> in the street and they're like posting a letter just be like posting a letter and watch them just <laughs> <laughs> never do it to someone it's the worst possible thing you can do never fire that bullet at someone it's the worst possible thing you can do never just describe someone's actions sat there with your arms crossed not enjoying it never do it to someone <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst possible thing you can do that's a good to play <laughs> You know, we're trying to meet new people. Uh, I went out with a friend recently, and uh, we met this girl, right, and we were chatting. And then she goes to the toilet, and he leans in and goes, oh, mate, I think she's really into you. And I was like, no, I think she's really into you. Turns out we'd been wingmanning each other for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at each other's jokes, telling cracking anecdotes about one another. She must have thought she was watching two dudes fall madly in love. <laughs> the one that she has to run off to the toilet, she has to go and text her friend and be like, the greatest love story ever told is unfolding. <laughs> These guys are going to bang tonight, it's going to be passionate as hell. <laughs> uh, and we did, and it was. So. <laughs> now, I, I feel like that... I feel like that didn't come from the crowd. I feel like that came up the speakers. Which means... Hey. Rich? Was that you? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, I thought it might have been, mate. <laughs> All right, mate. We're not having a good one, are we? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. I didn't think you were serious when before the show Rich was going, Oh, these fucking Wednesday night pricks, they they don't deserve they don't deserve a good show and I was like, Rich <laughs> They do, let's not prejudge them, no matter how loud they might be before the show's even started. 
And it was like, fuck him. It was like, fuck him, like the venom in his eye. I've never seen anyone <laughs> so aggressive towards a room of strangers, essentially. You know. Horrible, horrible little man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I love you, I love you, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't need anyone, I don't need anyone. I don't need a new partner, because I've got you guys. You know, like you guys are like my new partner in a way. You know, we're connecting, we're trying to get to know each other, you know, it's nice, we're sort of vibing off each other, it's kind of cool. Although if this plays out like any of my previous relationships, then you might like me at first, but then you'll have to watch me slowly and painfully disappear like my own ass, so... <laughs> Someone tried to set me up with a friend recently, right? And they went, oh, I think she'd really like you. And I said, oh, cool. Where did she see me perform? <laughs> <laughs> and my friend, went, my friend went, she hasn't seen you. And I went, well, don't bother then. <laughs> I mean, that is depressing. That is very depressing. I can't help it. I'm always doing a, you know, I'm always doing a thing. I'm always doing a bit. I'm always doing a thing. You know what I mean? I, I don't think I've actually spoken in my own voice for a long time. <laughs> Everyone's always just talking in silly voices the whole time because no one really knows how they feel about anything. So everyone's always walking around being like, oh, thank you kindly, good sir, or whatever. <laughs> or like, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> every girlfriend, without fail, every girlfriend of mine, without fail, has said to me, can you just stop doing a bit? Can you stop doing a joke? Can you just be real? And I'm like, maybe. I'm at my most real when I'm doing a bit. <laughs> 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 you guys getting this? Look at it. You ever seen anything more real in your life? Look at it, it's raw. It's human. How's that radio mic coming, Rich? Uh, testing, yeah, one, two, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, man. Do you mind dropping it on my back? Yeah. I forgot to put it on properly. Cheers, man. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's quite sad, but um, it's not quite sad, but poetic when you both know a relationship is coming to an end. You know what I mean? Like you both know it. You're both on that sinking ship. You're both watching the water rise up to your ankles, and you're holding hands, knowing that it's beyond repair. But I've never had that. Like I've never known. <laughs> like they're always the ones trying to plug the hole in the ship, and I'm at the front, like. <laughs> Do you think enough people would know what a K-hole is? <laughs> it's terrible. It's awful. I love comedy. What can I say? I love comedy. I'm a big, I'm a big comedy fan, you know? And obviously you guys are. That's why you're here. You know, you love to laugh. It makes you feel really good, right? It feels good to laugh. You know, it feels good for me to hear it, you know? It makes me feel good. <laughs> You want daddy to feel good, right? If you've just rejoined us, welcome back. <laughs> Do I strike you as sincere? 
I try and be, but it's hard, isn't it? It's hard, you know? You don't, you don't know how, no one knows how they feel about anything. You, oh, I absolutely love that, didn't you, mate? <laughs> absolutely love that. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Weeping with laughter. <laughs> Beside himself, thank you so much. What a lovely response. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? <laughs> Deb. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no sweeter sight than a man in, in a suit in particular. <laughs> Just absolutely losing their shit. <laughs> <laughs> to me, orgasming at the idea of laughter. <laughs> oh Dave, what a, what a treat. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for sharing. Uh, that was real nice. Um, yeah, it's hard though, it's hard to know. It's hard to know how you feel about anything. Sometimes you feel like you know something to be true and then you say it out loud and it sounds false, you know? I don't know how I feel about anything. And I don't think you really know whether I'm being sincere or insincere. I think I just have that vibe, you know? I think I, you don't know what's real or, not, or what, what's not real. You know what it makes me? <laughs> the riskiest comic in the biz. <laughs> you know why? Because whatever happens within this space, right? You won't know if it's real or not real. You won't know if it's planned or unplanned. I basically Tommy Coopered myself. <laughs> you know what happens to Tommy Cooper famously? He had a heart attack on stage, he died during a show, the audience thought he was part of it, and they laughed it up like bastards. <laughs> that could happen to me, I could die, and I reckon, well, I reckon at least half of you would carry on watching for about two weeks. <laughs> Just being like, I'm not letting him win. I'm not letting him have this. The only time you'd stop was when a rat would come and eat my eyeball, and you'd be like, hmm. He doesn't usually use props. <laughs> Seems like a weird point in the show to introduce a prop two weeks in. <laughs> what a baffling stylistic choice from that man. Yeah. So just to clarify, for my own safety, at no point in the show is there a bit where I clutch my heart, fall to the floor and say, for the love of God, help me, this isn't part of it. system and stuff. Uh, we've got these headphones in place. We're going to hand them out. Just get them on your heads and then we'll carry on with the show. Uh, can we actually play some music while we're doing it? Is it possible to get some people heard? Uh, lovely stuff. A bit crackly but fine. Alright, let's get it out quickly as possible please. Just get them on your head. Just get them on the head. Cheers, mate. You're all fine, you're fine, you're fine. Anyone else had it? We haven't got one yet. No worries. Take that one. Hands up, we haven't got one yet. Middle row, what's happening here? What's happening with these guys? What's happening with these guys? We'll go and get some from over there. Georgie, what are you doing? Some over here in the middle. Keep your hands up. Yeah, look like little boys. Come on, pass them out. Pass them down to the little children. This is the longest this has ever gone, and it's your fault. Anyone else? Anyone else in need? Anyone else in need? Everyone else? You're all fine? You all got some? Yeah? Okay, can we cut the music, please, so I can have their attention? Richard, what are you doing? Go back into the... All right, okay, fine. Uh, right. Okay. All right, let's get you off that colour. Get you off of that. Okay, lovely stuff. All right, can you all, can you cut them? Can you just, I'll, I'll sort it, Rich. Can you just go and. <sighs> right, can everyone hear me in their ears in the way they think they should be able to hear me? Yes! Yeah, okay. Uh, 24 minutes, get the fuck out. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I am going to keep timing you. Um, Okay, thank you, Rich. So, um, can everyone hear me in the in their ears? Yeah? yeah? Lovely stuff. If you can't at any point, do raise your hand. Someone will come over and, and try and help, try and sort it out for you. Uh, lovely. We can, we can drop the... I don't need to see them as much as this now. <laughs> thank you. Just go back to the select five that are inexplicably spotlit. 
And are also the ones who are enjoying it the least. So thank you. <laughs> You've chosen your seat well. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, let's do a quick little sound test here. We've actually just switched over to the left side. There you go. Left side. Is anyone on the left side? If not, you know, don't go the wrong way around. You need to swap them around. It's all right. We're not, no, one's, no one's picking on you. But you are the only person in the room who's doing it. So, <laughs> Can we switch over to the right side now? Just on the right side. Just on the right. Yeah. Okay. Lovely stuff. All right. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Great. Where were we? Um, yeah. I think, like, in relationships, you all have that pattern of behavior, don't you? <laughs> oh, did you think we weren't carrying on? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to continue to talk about myself. <laughs> we all have this, like, pattern of behavior, don't we? This same, like, script that we play out over and over and over again. No matter how many times we try and fix our, you know, fix our faults, our flaws, no matter how many times we try and recover from those mistakes, we always do the same thing, you know? The closest I ever get, right, to making any lasting changes in my life is around about one o'clock in the morning, when it's almost like the world's gone to sleep. And I can see myself for the first time in a while, and I can hear myself for the first time in a while. And it's almost like I can see all the things I'm doing wrong, and I know exactly what I need to do to change it. It's almost like I've gone backstage in the dressing room of my own life, and I'm looking at myself in the mirror like, what is that shit out there? You're fluffing your lines, your character's inconsistent, and you cannot afford corn, what are you doing? <laughs> but every night, I'm like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up, I'm going to make those changes. So what I'll do is, right, I'll put my vitamins in front of my bedroom door so I don't forget to take them. I'll put the book that I've told people I've read when I haven't read a book in six years. <laughs> I'll put a note to myself saying something like, stop smoking, or the genitals aren't self-cleaning, that only applies to vaginas. <laughs> and then I'll go to sleep, full of hope, and then I wake up, and I kick the vitamins out of the way, and then I'm just free-falling throughout the whole day. Just no thoughts, no self-reflection, just necking coffees, checking Twitter, ignoring emails from my dad. You haven't spoken to him in eight years, doesn't matter, deny, deny, deny. And then before I know it, it's one o'clock in the morning again, I'm looking at myself in the mirror like, wash your fucking dick! <laughs> Are you having problems? Are you? Were you? Because you took off a couple of times. Are you okay? Do you need another one? Can you hear me right now? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's, al it's almost like it's almost like the show's been deliberately engineered so that we get to this point. But no, you sure, sure. Enjoy, enjoy half the show. Do you really think I would make this optional? <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Yeah. Seven months in, though, that's good. Positive, yeah. Uh, how many arguments? Loads. Loads. That's good, that's normal. I think that's absolutely perfectly healthy. Um, I, um, yeah, I've argued a lot with my ex towards the end. But it's, it's only after an argument, isn't it, when you think of all the things you should have said? It's never in the moment, is it? It's always afterwards. Even in like petty day to day squabbles, not even relationship arguments. Like the other day, I'll give you an example. I was in a coffee shop, right? I was waiting for the coffee to come out. Coffee comes out. I grab it. Half a second later, another hand grabs it. It wasn't my other hand, it was someone else's hand. <laughs> It belonged to another man. And he grabbed it, right, and he pulled it away, and I went, oh, sorry, I think you find that's my coffee. And he went, mm, no, sorry, I think you find that's my coffee. And I said, no, 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 I think you find it's my coffee, because it's got the name Henry written on it. Now, that is not my name, but it is the name I gave him at the counter, because I'm a bit of a character. <laughs> and I grabbed it, right, and I walked towards the exit, and as I walked towards the exit, he shouted, I think you're a very rude young man. <laughs> to which I replied, <sighs> <laughs> And I was kicking myself, because it's only afterwards, isn't it? Think of things you should have said. I was running it over and over and over. I was losing sleep over it. Think of the things I should have said to this guy. And I'd like to run through it for you now with what I would have said. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's got the name Henry written on it. That's not my name, but it is the name I gave him at the counter, because I'm a bit of a character. I think you're a very rude young man. Fuck you, man. <laughs> but it's only afterwards, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Score! <laughs> Score! <laughs> Score!
<laughs> uh, more of these. It's dressage. <laughs> Score! <laughs> Alright, one more, one more, I promise, I promise. <laughs> just trying to do a bit, just let me, <laughs> just trying to do score and then it's over, just let me. Just let me get the point, man. Just let me get the point. 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 his legs. <laughs> Grab his fucking legs, mate! Grab his fucking legs! Grab his fucking legs! Grab his legs, baby boy. Grab his legs. Grab. Le legs. Yeah, fair point. You grab his fucking legs. Have you been to improv classes? Oh shit, get ahead of me! Take your seat, take your seat! You'll never take me alive! Jordan Brooks, I now sentence you to 37 years in prison for murder. Oh, Mum, what am I gonna do? I've ruined my life! You're right. Make the best of it. After you, Warden. Hey Robert, how's the reading going? Great stuff, man. Animal Farm next, buddy. Animal Farm next. Oh, sorry about the prison slot, guys. I've had a little paprika for anyone who wants it. Why can't we watch the World Cup final? We've got rights too. Yeah! Jordan Brooks, due to good behaviour, I now reduce your sentence by seven years. 
stuff if you shout out again you're out do you understand I promise. do you understand do. do you understand so because I feel like the first six times you didn't understand when you said you did but here we are again I yeah is it is it hard for you yes. to be quiet to sit and be just in the space for an hour yes yeah but I'm okay right? you have a you have a you have a difficult sense of being and I respect and sympathize with you for it but you cannot be exhibiting any of the symptoms in this space with me Okay. <laughs> like a lot of people find it, it's hard, it's hard. Like Dave's doing a fucking bang up job. <laughs> the impulse is there, do you know what I mean? The impulse is there to say something, to interrupt because you want to engage with your own body, you want to engage with your own self. Because if you don't say or do something quickly, then you risk losing your sense of who you are. So I sympathize with you, Susie. You're worrying about losing your sense of self and every shout, every interruption, every heckle is an attempt at reasserting your sense of who you are. And I totally understand it, but I'm getting very tired of it. <laughs> out, out. No, I'm serious. Out, out, out. Get the fuck out, 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 dude. Yeah, man. Will you? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder what it is that I would want from you. I wonder what it is that I would want from you, Susie. Come on, man, baby. What is it? It's you leaving. No. Yeah, man. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh no, really? Yep. Yeah, this is real, man. Now, I feel like uh, not all of you are on board with that. <laughs> you guys can move up if you want to take the seat. Oh, boy. Glad we're filming this one tonight. Mmm, <laughs> uh. lovely stuff. All right, we could do with winding down, I think, after that. Should we get soft? Should we sit soft? Should we relax? Yeah, should we do it? All right, let's get, let's get cozy. Crazy old world, eh? <laughs> Crazy old world. We live in an interesting time, don't we? An interesting age, you know. We're all so self-absorbed, we're all so trapped in ourselves, you know. You know, and people go, oh, we're, we're, it's a culture of narcissists. It's not. We're, we're frightened. We're frightened of the outside world, so we retreat into the only thing we know, which is ourselves. But we don't know ourselves either, so we get even more anxious, and there's nowhere to go. You know, all obsessed with the content, all obsessed with how we can turn our own experience into a, something tangible, you know, like a story, a tweet we could do about it, a joke we could tell, the novel we could write. We're never really present anymore because we're all thinking about the content, you know. It's a weird time. And it's also extended to the way that we frame life and, uh, and, and world events as well, you know. People will go, oh, what's happening in the latest episode of America, you know? And it's a way of distancing ourselves from it, from making it seem less real and therefore less scary. But it keeps us at a distance from it, and therefore that's, I think that's a bad thing, you know. All that stuff you said about using personal life for comedy, 
You're not going to use this in a show, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> That's great. Like, some things are sacred. Yeah. <laughs> this will be great for a bit. I think the key, really, is to just be present. It's to just be in the moment. Because it's all we know. It's all we have. All we know is me. And you. taste you. Oh, I want to taste some cum. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, yeah. I have to fuck you. Oh, I want to feel something for a change. Oh. You're so wet and or hard. Shit. Shit. Oh, oh. I just need some cum oh. in my system. Oh. 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 for sharing that with me. I hope you understand now why I had to ask Susie to leave. <laughs> there was no way we would have all gotten through that alive. It was important that she wasn't here for that. Mm. You guys make me feel so good. You make me feel so powerful, you know. I feel like we can do anything together, you know. I feel like together we can build a better world. We can make a real nice world for ourselves, you know? Should we do that? I feel so relaxed with you guys. Like, I, I really feel like I can tell you anything, you know? Uh, My clothes feel so like much. fancy dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder people didn't people take me seriously when I was talking about games. You're fucking up. You're fucking up. I'm taking it seriously when I said it early for a crummy You have and you'd know if you had. I shut myself. We have so many thoughts, don't we, going through our heads? So many thoughts, and so many voices as well. It's never a nice voice, is it? It's never a voice that's like, hey, buddy, well done again on your GCSEs. <laughs> it's always like, oh, I bet your mother's cunt tastes delicious. <laughs> I bet it tastes like unreliable Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't have like a, uh, a problem or anything. I'm, I'm like, I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't be so concerned. I'm okay. I'm all right. Uh, I'm okay. I got my comedy, you know. <laughs> I'm okay because I got my com com. I got my sweet old comalomans, you know. <laughs> sweet sweet com. Yeah, love it. Love it. I said com. As an abbreviation of comedy. You guys are comfortably the worst audience I've ever had. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know, did you know, can you tell I'm not enjoying this? Can you tell? Can you tell I just want this to be over? You're fucking disgusting, all of you. Doing my fucking head in. Can we bring Susie back in? Mm. 
There are three main theories of humor. There's uh, relief theory, superiority theory, and incongruity theory. Now, relief theory uh, comes from Freud and the idea that we have this sort of pent-up tension. <coughs> so, um, idea for a comedy show. Uh, I treat the audience like they're my new partner and I take them through the stages of what it's like to be in a relationship with me. Like I come out at the start and I say, oh, the world's a really scary place and how much better it is when it's just the two of you. And then I, I have all these pretend tech errors, uh, like my mic keeps failing and then there's noise from outside that keeps distracting us and it prompts me to get out headphones and make everyone wear them to like shut all that stuff out to reflect the intensity of being in a relationship and feeling really powerful in that little world that you've built together. Also, it'd be really funny if there's a bit where they hear me come really hard. Still a mysterious thing. Why do we laugh? Why do we do this? You know? um, and then there's, there's superiority theory. Now, superiority theory is... Um, you're okay? So you start talking about how much you love comedy, but it becomes really a, a, like obsessional and overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the bath now. I'm in the bath now. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot we were supposed to have it together. Come in now. Come get in now. Hello? Are you annoyed? Are you annoyed? Hello? Uh, also, don't forget to do that bit where you have sex with them and just really hard. Theory? That's still a way, that's still a mode of looking at a certain type of humor, a certain type of joke, you know? We'll look at a joke format and we'll go, well, we, only, we can only laugh because we have objectified that person, we have fetishized that person, we have turned them into... It's got to be a blue, blue crystal Yeah, Did someone just go to Christmas 04? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, superiority theory, Aristotle wrote poetics, and he spent a lot of time talking about drama, but not that much about comedy, because his understanding of comedy was very limited, because often Greek comedies at the time were about peasants, were about people of a lower social class, were about looking down upon and laughing at those people. And it is a shame that we still have that today. We're still analysing joke structures and joke formats and looking at how we actually still do that, you know, in essence. Um, now, incongruity theory is the third and probably most prevalent and popular theory. Now, it probably loses its impact for that reason, Dave, because it's too, you know, it's very broadly applicable to a lot of styles of humour, but it's also the most popular one. Um, so I've got to talk about it. Now, incongruity theory is very basically what it sounds like. You've got one element put up against another element that you previously would have considered incompatible with, so that can be like wordplay, you know? Oh. We're, we've got like, we've got a joke format that sort of, we have certain expectations, and then we have that, those expectations subverted, you know, because it goes a different way. And you could look at an example, a very basic physical comedy example of someone walking down the Humor, street, I and you... Humour, is an important and somewhat neglected uh, subject, and one that psychologists would do well to investigate. We it is all pervasive, it is fearless, it deals with every aspect of our lives and deaths. It varies from class to class and country to country in terms of the subjects that people find funny and the techniques they use in their jokes and other forms of humour, and it has the capacity to reveal all kinds of interesting I'm doing things about I'll do it in a minute. I'm doing a minute. I'm just doing something. I'm just recording. I'm just doing something. In it. I'll take them out in a minute. Um, and so there, uh, so the audience starts to really lose focus because there's so much going on, it's really overwhelming, and it's like I'm pushing them away, but I'm also trying not to lose them at the same time. Um, what makes it hard to do with Henry Bergson, instead of the person who's got the worst of mind and watching where they're going, they actually like Andrew with Einstein, they laugh and they're falling, 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 they're because we try to imitate the work and why it appears to us that they are about comedy. Look at me! Look at me! Love at me! Love at me! Love at me! Love! Love! Oh, thank you so much. Oh, bless your heart. Keep it coming, Dave. Keep it coming. Give daddy the good goods. Give daddy what he wants. Oh.
<laughs> Thank you for the laugh, 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 you for the laugh. You've made daddy feel 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 made think this was? What did you think you'd come to? Did you think I was going to take you on the journey of what it's like to be in a relationship with me? Nope. 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 That ain't what this is about. 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 This isn't about me. This isn't about me. This isn't about me. This isn't about me. This is about you. This is about you. This is about you. This is about you. And how you must be punished. How you must be punished. How you must be punished. You must be punished. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? Because I am trapped here. 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 If audience is such a good sound, like every audience before you, you're gonna laugh it out like bombs, and I wanna be here, trapped in this critically acclaimed house. Maybe, 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 take some responsibility for the things that you choose to laugh at. The riskiest comic in the biz. Comic in the biz. Comic in the biz. The riskiest. The comic in the biz. The comic in the biz. The comic in the biz. Well, we actually pronounce it squaws. I'm the riskiest comic in the squaws. Well, actually we pronounce it comic. Pronounce it comic. I'm the riskiest comic in the squaws. In the squaws. In the squaws. Well, actually we pronounce it. We pronounce it riskiest. I'm the riskiest comic in the squaws. In the squaws. In the squaws. Well, actually we pronounce it. Actually we pronounce it. Actually we pronounce it. Riskiest comic in the world. Well, actually, we pronounce it. Actually, we pronounce it. Riskiest comic in the world. I'm the riskiest comic in the world. I'm the riskiest comic in the world. So I'm trying to meet new people. So I'm trying to meet new people. So I'm trying to meet new people. I met this girl recently. Met this girl recently. Met this girl recently. Went out with a friend. 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 Meet this girl, right? Meet this girl, right? She goes to the toilet. She goes to the toilet. He leans in and goes. He leans in and goes. I think she's really into you. I think she's really into you. I was like, I was like, nah. I think she's really into you. I think she's really into you. I think she's really into you. Turns out we've been wingmaning each other for two hours. 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 Laugh. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, my sweet tender babes, my beautiful children, beautiful children, beautiful children. Oh, oh, daddy like, daddy like, daddy like, daddy like, daddy like, daddy like. Okay.
And now, and now, and for my final transition, 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 I will go from God King, God King, into Ultimate God King, God King, and how, and how, by inserting myself, by inserting myself, into my own Avis! And you try and literally clamber up your own anal cavity, like it's really horrible to watch. And there's lights flashing everywhere, and then a smoke machine goes off, and then we'll get some indoor fireworks going, a live band, uh, maybe some dancers come in, we'll definitely be able to do that. Jordan! Jordan! Yep. Yeah. What are you doing? What? What is this? Trying to have a laugh. Please stop it. Please. You. You're so much better than this. Stop doing this because no one wants to see it. Be who we know you are. Be who I know you are. Just be you. Be who I know is you. But I don't know who I am. That's okay. That's fine. You can just be with me. You can just be you with me. Okay? Be with us. Nah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Jordan! No, no, no! Tell me this isn't part of it. <laughs> no, I'll go. I'll I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Just give me five minutes to pack my stuff. Uh, and then you get up and uh, you find a way of showing the audience how you're going to wipe all memory of this and end up repeating the same mistakes again and again. And delete. <laughs> and then you turn to them, you look at them for ages, and you find some way of telling them that they've all been listening to different things the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of a way of doing that. And then you thank them for coming. Thank you. Properly. Thank you. And then, without a proper goodbye, without a proper sense of an end, it's suddenly just out of nowhere. And also make sure that orgasm that you do is real. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cool, cool baby. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh. Thank you so much for coming. Um, uh, annoyingly, you applauded over at the final line, so... <laughs> Just to clarify what the final line was, um, it was, it was a note to myself saying, make sure that orgasm you do is real. Uh, and so then I left. Uh, but you guys were enjoying it too much. Or willing it to end. Uh, I don't know which one. Uh, thanks so much for, for coming. Uh, as I say, comfortably the worst audience I've ever performed to. Uh, like, I really hated it, I really hated every second of it. Um, I was annoying me from the start. I didn't like the fact that you weren't fully on board with me chucking out someone that was interrupting the show. You need to rethink how you approach the theatre. Uh, 
If you think that's allowed, then you have a problem, okay? <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much for your time and your attention. I do, I do really appreciate it. Uh, we've got three more shows left. Dave, did you enjoy it? Brilliant. Yeah? Brilliant. Uh, yeah? yeah? If you were to review it for a publication, <laughs> what would you give it? Five stars. Five stars. There we go. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Bennett. <laughs> fuck you, man. You f fucking contrarian. Um, anyway. Uh, there's three shows left, so um, I'd love to keep performing to audiences as nice as yourselves. Uh, please do tweet about it, and uh, yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Thank you.